Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build an AI powered chatbot using Versal AI SDK, Next.js, and local LLMs using Olama. We will be leveraging Versal AI SDK to simplify chatbot development, and we will be using Olama to run AI models locally. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a sleek, fully functional chatbot with real time message streaming. Let's dive in. First, let's install the prerequisites. First, we need to install Node.js, NPM, and PNPM. Then, we need to install VS Code, and then we need to install Olama and pull open source LLMs into our local machine. These LLMs are a brain of the application which takes our natural language queries and streams their response in real time. I have separate tutorials which shows how to install Node.js with NPM and PNPM, how to install VS Code, how to install and pull open source LLMs in your local machine using Olama. I will provide the link to the tutorials in the description of this video. You can also navigate to the tutorials using tooltip that will pop up now. All right, let's create our next JS project and install all the necessary dependencies. Let me open terminal first. If you are using a Windows machine, go to start menu and open command prompt. Okay, I will use PNPM to create the next project. If you have not installed Node.js and PNPM yet, I highly recommend to check my previous tutorial, which will teach you how to install Node.js and PNPM step by step. Okay, let's use PNPM to create the next project. I will say PNPM create next app at the rate lattice and the name of the project, which will be chatbot AI SDK in our case. I will press enter and it will ask you whether you want to use TypeScript or not. I will say yes. I want to use ESLint as well. I want to use Tailwind CSS as well. So I want to use the source directory. Yes. App router. Yes. We will not use the page router. We will use app router. Turbo pack. Yes. Customize. No. And there you go. We have the next JS project created in our machine. Let me navigate to the created project. I will say CD and the name was chatbot AI SDK and I will press enter. Now this is the location where I will install all the required dependencies. Now let's check which dependencies we will need for this project. Okay. The first dependency that we will need is AI SDK react. I will say pnpm add at the rate ai sdk slash react we will also use lucid react to use some of the icons we've now since we will be using the llms hosted in our local machine using olama we will use one of the community maintained module and its name is olama ai provider and i will press enter i will verify the location that it is installing inside my project yes i will press enter and there you go we have the dependencies that we require for this project installed now let's open this project in vs code in case of mac machine i will use spotlight search and search code. In case of Windows machine, go to search bar, type code and open Visual Studio code. Now let's open the created Next.js project in VS Code. First, we will go to file, then we will say open folder, then we will navigate to the directory or the folder where we created the Next.js app. In my case, it was inside YT walkthrough and the name of the project was chatbot AI SDK. Click on it and click open. And there you go. We have opened the Next.js project in VS Code. Now let's start with the coding part. First, let's create a folder inside source app. I will name it as API and inside API, I will create one more directory and name it as chat. Now inside chat, I will need a file and the name of the file is route.ts and we have the main page.tsx. Most of the codes here are by default generated and we will not need them in order to save some amount of time. I will copy the code that I have written and explain you what it does. In this tutorial, I will explain only the most important aspects of the project. I will not deep dive into Telvin CSS that we use to design our page or how Next.js app works. Now the page.tsx is the landing page of our chatbot and using it, we will design a beautiful chat interface. Now as I explain you the code, try to understand the concepts. Don't worry about the code. I will provide you the link to GitHub in the description of this video. All right. The most important element of this page is use chat hook provided by Versal's AI SDK. First, let's understand what use chat is. Use chat is a react hook that helps you build conversational user interfaces for your AI chatbot application. It enables the streaming of chat messages from the LLM, helps manage the state of the chat box input and automatically updates the UI as new messages are received. The use chat hook provides several tools to manage our chat. The most important ones that we will use today are message. It is an array of UI messages. Each message in this array has a property of a role which can either be a user or assistant. Another property is content, which is the actual text message. Now think of this message array is a conversation history that keeps track of who said what. The next element is the input. Now it is the input state that represents the current value of the input box that a user types to post their query to LLM. Then we have the handle input change. It is a function that updates the input state as the user types. We typically connect this to chat input box on change event. The next one that we will use is handle submit. This function handles the form submission when the user post their query to LLM. The last property we will use is status. This tells you the current state of the conversation. In our case, we will check if the status is submitted or streaming. Then we will hide or display the loading icon accordingly. As new messages are being sent by LLM, this piece of code always anchor the input box at the bottom of the page. Then we created the header for the page. After the header section, we have the main content 
event here first we will display the conversation array between us and the llm then we will have a form to take the user input and on form submit we will make an api call to the server now let's understand the message display section now this part iterates over all the messages and displays them one by one as new messages are generated due to our conversation with llm use chat hook automatically manages updating the message array for us we don't have to worry about updating the message array state we simply iterate over them and display each message one by one while displaying the messages we'll check the role property of a message if the role of the message is a user we display a human icon otherwise we display the boot icon after that we will display the original message content now let's understand how the form submit works in this section we have an input box to take user query and a submit button the input box value is binded to the input state property provided by use chat and we have a callback handler which listens to the own change event on the input box to update the input state then using the submit button when we submit the form first we will display the loading icon then we call the handle submit function provided by use chat again on form submit the handle submit function makes an api call to slash api slash chat endpoint now let's understand what the route.ts of slash api slash chat does since the handle function provided by use chat hook makes a default form submit http post call to slash api slash chat endpoint we need to have a route.ts under slash api slash chat why because we are using the app router feature of next.js before we understand this part please ensure olama is installed and running in your local machine if you want to learn how to install and run olama in your local machine and pull the open source models please check one of my previous tutorials you can find the link in the description of this video or it will pop up in the tooltip now here the first step is to initialize the olama client while creating the olama client you can either provide the base url of the olama api server if you have modified the url of the olama api server otherwise remove it and use the default next we created a model that will make a call to the olama chat completion api the argument we provided is the model name now how do i get this model name for that you have to open terminal or command prompt and type olama list here the error that i am getting is due to olama server not being up and running first i have to start the olama server olama serve then open a new terminal for the new command prompt and type olama list here it displays all the open source llms that i have pulled from the olama registry and that are present in my local machine today i am going to use gwen 2.5 coder 14 billion parameter model let me copy this name the model name that i specified here is the same that i copied from the olama list command since the handle submit function of use chat makes a post call to slash api slash chat we have a post function here first we get the messages from the request this messages will be populated by use chat automatically we don't have to worry about it next we will use the stream text function provided by the ai sdk core module here first we pass the model that we created here and the second parameter is the message array which we got as part of the request now this message array will contain both the history of the conversation and the current query we will pass this to the stream text function provided by the core module of ai sdk what does this stream text function do now this function is used to create a streamable text result it takes the llm and the user messages and makes api call to the llm provider the message chunk generated by the llm provider are then converted to the streamable text result and finally on the stream text result i will call two data stream response now this function converts the result to a stream response body which can then be used by the use chat hook to display the chunks one by one as they are being generated by the llm all right with this small amount of code we built a fully functional chatbot in our local machine which is backed by the olama server and the open source llms that we have in our machine okay let's run this application i will open command prompt or terminal and navigate to this project directory okay i have opened the root folder of our chatbot application now before we run the application we have to ensure that olama server is up and running yes in my case it is up and running now let me start the next js app i will say pnpm run dev and press enter and the application is up and running at port 3000 i will copy this url and open the browser i will paste this url and say enter and there you go with few lines of code we built a beautiful fully functional conversational ai chatbot backed by olama and open source llms now let's use this chatbot let me say how can you help me today and there we have the response right what it does is it will use the use chat it will call the handle submit function the handle submit function in turn makes an api call to our local olama server it gets the streamable chunk it updates the message array and once the message array updated the page is rendered and we have the responses here now let me ask to write a function in typescript to reverse a string i will press enter and there you go we have the loading icon again it is started writing the function and once the response completed the loading icon is hidden again and that's it folks we have built an ai powered chatbot using versus ai sdk next chair and olama this setup is modular and scalable you can customize the ui to match your brand switch to different ai models depending on your need integrate with database for storing chat history now if you find this tutorial helpful make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future ai projects drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos until next time happy coding